everyone, it's Michelle, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the cooking pot in Raft so that you can make your own recipes. Alright, so when you go into your inventory and you look at the food and water icon right here with the chicken bone and the little drop of water, and if you go down, once you've actually learned all of the things that you need to make a cooking pot, you will see that you can make it here and it requires one bolt, four vine goo, two metal ingot, six plastic, and six plank of wood. So when you go ahead and craft it, you're going to notice that it looks like a little pot. But when you actually put it down, it's a lot bigger than the actual picture itself. So what I'm going to do is I am going to place this down outside of my raft and I'm going to put it next to a wall like this. When you actually cook in game, there are a couple of different ways that you can cook before you get to this stage. There's the small little cooker itself, then you have a grill like this, but the recipes that you make out of a cooking pot are actually a lot tastier and they actually give you a little bit more food than the actual food that you can get from the sea, like fishing just regular fish and cooking it up and eating it. So. I'm going to be showing you the different recipes and what they actually do for you. The first thing though, before you actually start cooking up any kind of recipes, you actually need one thing from the ocean. So when you come up to small islands like this, you need to be looking at the bottom of the ocean for some clay. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the ocean, I'm going to kill the shark, and once I do that I will show you the clay. Now I have a hook equipped on my first slot here and what I'm doing is, is I'm looking down at the bottom of the ocean where all of the resources are located and I'm looking for clay. And clay is actually a little mound of dirt, the one that I'm pointing at right now. There's a lighter colored one like this and that's actually sand. So you want to go for the slightly darker one. And you actually need clay when you are making different plates of food for your recipes because you actually need to make a plate that you can put your food on so the clay is actually turned into clay bowls. I'm just looking around quickly to make sure there's not any more clay that's at the bottom, maybe some over here. And again, depending on how much food you make, you're going to need a bit more clay to, to work with. Alright, that should be enough for now. Let's go back to our raft and we're going to convert the clay into clay bowls. Let's go into our inventory and when you are still in the food and water section right here, you're going to notice that next to the cup, next to the empty water bottle, there is a container right here for a clay bowl. And it costs two clay to make four clay bowls. So we're going to craft all of them. So now we have 12 clay bowls to work with and you need those in order for you to actually collect the food from, from the cooking pot. The next thing that we need are recipes and there's a couple of different ways that you guys can collect recipes while you're playing this game. You can actually get recipes while you fish. So if you have a fishing rod you can actually fish and grab some recipes. You can sometimes collect them from these barrels here. And then you can also collect them from crates that you find in the ocean, um, whether it's under the ocean or if it's on top of small islands or even larger islands. But once you've collected a lot of recipes, you can start cooking. But there's one other catch. You actually need the food that it tells you is required for that dish. So let me go ahead. I'm going to take my recipes and I'm going to put them on the wall here so that you guys can see them properly. So let me just put them on the wall. I've gone ahead and placed all of the recipes for all of the food on the actual back of the wall for the cooking pot and a little bit on the boards for my wall as you guys can see. Now the first thing that you need to do is collect all of the resources for all of these foods. And for those of you who have been playing this game quite a bit, you will notice that I am missing three recipes. And if you are missing recipes, you don't actually have to have the recipes 
in your inventory or placed on the wall in order to cook them and I'm going to show you that in a moment the three that I am missing but let's go ahead and talk about how the cooking works in here because it did take me a minute to figure out how it works so first things first you are going to need wood on you because it is fueled by wood so when you have wood in your inventory if you look down below the cooking pot it says E to place a plank go ahead and place all your planks now the first recipe here is vegetable soup and it says potato or beets and that is the thing that you need to keep in mind when it's in a row like this by itself that means you can pick one or the other so if you look at some of the other recipes you can see that you can pick between either the mackerel fish or the tilapia fish here you don't have to have both of them but you need an egg and you need a bucket of milk and I'm gonna show you how the cooking process works so let's go ahead and grab our resources when you guys are looking around for some of these resources you are going to probably struggle with a few of them and I'm gonna tell you right now if you look at salmon salad if you see this little thing right here the bottom one that's called silver algae and if you're curious where to get that you have to go to an animal island you cannot find it at islands that are smaller like this you need to swim down when you're at the bottom of the ocean around the animal island and you'll notice a silver algae piece the other thing is the bucket of milk and the other thing are eggs now at first when I was playing this game I thought that you could actually get eggs from the birds nest like this from the seagulls but you can't you have to tame animals for the recipes you have to have a goat and you must have a chicken like this the chicken will lay eggs and you can see an egg that is currently on my raft over a period of time the chicken will lay eggs but you actually have to go up and milk the goat because if you look the goat has udders and you can milk your animal for recipes you can find all of the different recipes like the fish you get those obviously from fishing the potatoes and the beets you get those in many different ways you can pick up barrels like this sometimes you'll get it sometimes you won't again it's just a random thing I just picked up a raw beet there so be patient and you will collect the items the other thing that will probably be a little bit difficult for you to start as well is um, the puffer head fish head so you need to actually save the heads when you kill puffer fish around the animal island the other thing are the red berries and the red berries are only found at the animal island so as you guys continue around the around on your raft you just need to collect as much resources as possible let's go ahead and start with the first recipe here which is vegetable soup so again four potatoes or four beets I'm gonna go grab mine and let's do potatoes so I'm gonna grab potatoes they're in my inventory and I'm gonna go ahead and take the potatoes and put them on my hotbar switch to the potatoes make sure you don't accidentally eat those and when you look down on the actual on the actual surface you're gonna notice four pieces of paper and you can actually go up to it and press E to place down your raw potato E E and E once you've placed down all four of your ingredients you can actually go up to the cooking pot and you can start cooking now each recipe does take a little bit of time to actually cook so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time each recipe and I'm gonna let you guys know how long it actually takes to cook each one as well so the first one I'm gonna do is vegetable soup here so we're gonna go ahead and say start cooking and this is gonna take a moment make sure that you have your clay bowls on you you can actually equip those on your hot bar that's what I would do and we're gonna let this cook up alright so that's finished cooking and it took about one minute and thirty seconds in real time once it's done cooking you can pull your clay bowl out like I've done here and you can press E to pick up vegetable soup 
and you're going to notice that my clay bowl, my, one of my clay bowls disappeared, and if I go into my inventory, there is my vegetable soup. And it says a mixture of vegetables to keep you warm. I'm going to go ahead and keep this until the end because I'm going to test all of my recipes with you all. Fruit compote is one pineapple, put that on the table, one mango, one watermelon, and one red berry. Go ahead and put that in the cooking pot. Fruit compote is done and this took a total of 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So have your, cl your clay bowl equipped, go up to it, press E to pick it up, and it'll pick up one, and you can still pick up more. So pick it up again, and if you look on my hotbar where it went, I have two plates. So some of these recipes will give you more than others. For simple fish stew, you need either two potatoes or two beets, and two raw fish, the pomfret or the little mackerel fish there on the left. What I'm going to use for this is I'm going to use two beets, so times two, put two down, and then I'm going to use the little pomfret fish. So over here on the right, put those two down. You go up to the cooking pot and start cooking. Make sure that your cooking pot is always loaded up with some wood. Right, so simple fish stew is done, and it took me about 1 minute and 30 seconds. So go up to it, press E, and you only get one bowl out of this. For fish stew, you need either two mackerel or two tilapia, and one egg, and one bucket full of milk. So I'm going to use for this two tilapia, one, two, and an egg and milk. Now, you get the eggs, like I said, from taming the animal, the little chicken, and it will naturally drop eggs. If you want to know how to tame an animal, you can check out my video at the end. Now, the goat is where you get your milk, and before you actually can collect milk, you have to create a bucket. So, if you go into your inventory and you look at the bucket under food and water, it tells you you need three planks of wood, one scrap, and one rope. Now, once you've created a bucket, and you use it in a recipe, it does disappear. This is something that you cannot reuse. So you need to constantly make sure that if you're using a lot of this recipe that requires milk, you have a lot of those materials. And to get the milk from the goat, all you have to do is go up to it and hold down left mouse button. And it will pick up the milk. And you can see that the two buckets on my hot bar, one is full of milk and the other one is not. Now, you cannot go up to the goat and collect milk once you've already done it. So I'm holding down left mouse button and it doesn't want me to collect any more milk. So I'll have to have to wait a little bit of time. So once you have the other two recipes, you come down, you put the bucket of milk on the table, and then you need one egg. So let's go to the egg, place that on the table, and we're going to start cooking. So the fish stew is done and that took exactly 2 minutes and 30 seconds to cook. Have your clay bowl equipped, go up to it, press E, you can collect it once, and you can collect it twice. For a mushroom omelet, you need one potato, two eggs, and one mushroom. Once you have those together, you can go up to it, press E to start cooking. Mushroom omelet takes 3 minutes and 30 seconds to cook fully. Press E to pick up. Pick it up once, and you can pick it up twice. Head broth needs one potato or one beet. So let's put down our potato. It needs two pufferfish head, so one, two, and one bucket of milk. Let's go upstairs. Find our goat and milk it. and put the bucket of milk on the table and we're going to press E to start cooking. Head broth takes 3 minutes and 30 seconds to cook and you can pick it up once and you can pick it up twice. 
Salmon salad requires two pineapple or two mango, one raw salmon, and one silver algae. I'm going to be using mango for this, so two mango, one raw salmon, and one silver algae. Once you have all that, you can start cooking. And salmon salad takes 3 minutes and 30 seconds to cook. And you can collect it twice. There are recipes that I don't have, but you can still make them. And the recipe that I'm going to be showing you is called drumstick with jam. And it takes 2 raw drumstick, and you can get that from killing seagulls or the giant bird, the screecher, on the animal island. So put down 2 raw drumsticks and it requires two red berries which you can also get from the animal island. Put those on and start cooking. So the drumstick with jam takes three minutes and thirty seconds and you can collect two. Another recipe that I don't have on me but you can still make without the recipe is called coconut chicken and that requires two raw drumsticks, so put two raw drumsticks on the table, one coconut, and one mushroom. And let's go ahead and start cooking. And coconut chicken takes three minutes and 30 seconds to cook. And you can collect it twice. The last recipe that is currently in game right now that I do not have is called Catfish Deluxe and it requires two potatoes, so put down two potatoes on the table, one raw catfish, and one mushroom. And once you have all that, you can start cooking. And Catfish Deluxe takes three minutes and thirty seconds to cook. And you can collect that twice. Those are all the recipes that are currently in game. So now what I'm going to show you is what each of the recipes do when you actually eat them. I have vegetable soup on me. This was the first recipe I made. And we're going to go ahead and eat that and watch my food and my water. And it brings up your food quite a bit. Now I'm going to eat fruit compote. And that one actually raised not only my food, but my water as well. This is simple fish stew. And you can see that it only raises my food bar. Let's eat the regular fish stew. This is just regular fish stew. And it appears that it only raises my food bar. Right, so this is the mushroom omelet. And that seems to increase my food quite a bit, so the mushroom omelet looks quite good to eat. Alright, this is the shark dinner. And that does raise my food quite a bit as well. So that's a good food, especially if you get three out of it. Alright, so this is the head broth soup, and let's go ahead and eat this. And that raises my food a bit, but again, this only gives me two plates of food. This is the salmon salad, so let's go ahead and eat that. And that seems to do pretty good as well, but again, that only gives you two plates. This recipe here is the drumstick with jam. This is the one that I do not have an actual recipe for, but you can actually still make. Let's go ahead and eat that. And that raises my food a bit, too. The coconut with chicken. And that raises my food just a little bit. The last recipe that I'm going to try is the catfish deluxe. And that raises it about the same as the last one. So. As you're going through all the recipes, the ones that I noticed that stuck out the most 
was the fruit compote because that one actually raised my water as well as my food. That was the only recipe that actually raised my water. The other recipe that does stand out is the shark dinner because out of all of the foods, it raises it a about the highest but not only that you get three plates out of it while the other ones either give you two or they just give you one but the shark dinner actually gives you three plates of food to eat from the only problem with it is that finding the silver algae and the mushrooms might be a little bit of a pain for you because in order to get both you have to go to the animal island so that might be the only thing that stops you from making that dinner Alright guys, and that is how you use the cooking pot, and that is all of the recipes in Raft. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.